poor quality work. Why would poor quality work be an issue? Why do you think you get poor quality work? Okay, so they don't have enough time to complete the job. So where would that be in a conversation? That may be true, absolutely. So from a conversation, what would be missing from a conversation that would have them not have enough time to do the work? Not the time. It's in the conversation. You, so I'm having a conversation with Brian about doing something. I get poor quality of work. I, I get, and I'm not interested in the one-time poor quality. I'm interested in the recurring poor quality, right? The one-time stuff is easily, that's a one-time kind of, it's a one-off kind of thing. It's the recurrent stuff that I'm interested in. So I'm consistently getting poor quality, and Brian keeps saying, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough time. So where would that be over here in the conversation? What would be missing as a conversation? Why would I be getting that? Pardon me? Any of the performance, the metrics, or the measure, measurements that you would be using? Uh, it could be in the performance metrics, but that would be in the request. So the request would be the timeline. I give a deadline, and it's too short. Right? So I asked Brian, can you have this in a week? And he says, yeah. And it comes in and it's poor quality. I said, hey, you know, I didn't say. It's poor quality. I give him a week, it's poor quality. I give him two weeks, it's poor quality. And I find out, oh, I need more time. Good, how much? But it would be in the time, yes, if he has no time. But I have to look from the conversation I'm having. Yeah, I'd want to have a closure conversation to find out he keeps saying, I'd want to ask him, so uh, Brian, I just want to acknowledge that you know you had a week to do this. You said you could get it in a time. Yeah, it wasn't enough time. Oh, I wonder what happened. What was missing? Is it in the time frame we looked? Do you have more to work to do? Did you not communicate with me how busy you were? What was missing? Could it really be in the what you were asking for? It's going to be in my conversation. I'm getting, uh, here's where I'm asking you to look at. You're getting poor quality work from somebody because there's a conversation that's not being had. And, and the conversation, so you're, uh, that's what I'm asking. You're getting poor quality consistently from somebody because something, a conversation is not being had. Now the question is, which conversation? Well, obviously one place to start with is do you have closure conversations about poor quality? You point out to them, hey, this is poor quality, this sucks. You can't give me this kind of crap. This is like a joke. Do you ever have those conversations? Or do you take the poor quality and accommodate, make do, and fix it, and <laughs> do workarounds and all that other kind of stuff, in which case there's no closure, there's no accountability. So you have somebody for whom there's no consequence. I don't want to say con There's no follow-up or closure to not keeping an agreement. It's two minutes late. I get to be late. Why? Because you, you don't complete stuff with me. Sometimes you get poor quality and you have to set the expectation of a time frame, so you end up doing it yourself. You better. That would be the other part. So in my conversation in which I'm specifying what I want, I never mention quality. Or we don't talk about quality. Quality's not tracked. Quality's not a part of it. When I have understanding conversations related to that, quality's not the issue. If I want quality to be an issue, I would want to talk about quality. I never talk about quality. If you don't talk about it, you won't get it. Consider, and it's a tough, con you are getting exactly what you're talking about. You get exactly what you talk about or don't talk about. If you don't talk about quality and you're getting poor quality, it's because you don't talk about quality. You should get poor quality. If you talk about quality and understanding and in your performance and you're not getting it, then there's probably no closure. What else do you see about poor quality? Yeah, very good.
Yeah, very good. That's really true. You've got to be willing to, to listen to what they've got to say even if you don't like it. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Sometimes maybe you have to show people what good quality really does look like. Yeah. Well, that's kind of like the this conversation we had up here. You know, look at it from the standpoint Brian was explaining quality to Mark or Ginger was explaining quality to Molly. And he gave the best quality he could. She gave the best quality she could. So what quality is, you may need to have a conversation about what quality actually means, how you would measure it, how you would know if you got it. More importantly, how would they know before they gave it to you that it was quality? Rather than the only way, I'll know it when I see it, then I can't give it to you. That's 20 questions and I'm always going to fail. Except when I'm lucky. And it's hard. I, I mean, some things it is, but you know, quality is when I approve it. <laughs> 